Name's Cloud. Cloud Strife. I was soldier first class, until I escorted a group of terrorists to blow up a Mako reactor. They really didn't care that they blew up a part of the city with that explosion. This was just the first reactor. I had to go back through the city just to get to HQ. When I saw him, Sephiroth. I always wanted to be just like him. I followed him into an alley where I was staring at him with awe until he reminded me that he killed my mother. The shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. I love that man, but he really pisses me off. I made it back to HQ where I saw my childhood friend, Tits. <sighs> I mean Tifa. How sweet. She showed me to my room and offered to stay the night. That's it? My sword was not getting any action that night. I woke up to a strange noise coming from the neighbor. It looked like my sword was gonna get some action after all. He went on top of me, but it was too much for me to handle. That got me kicked out of the apartment. So Barrett took me onto the train, where we were headed to blow up the next reactor. Spending time with Barrett made me realize that he was a psychopath. Oh, you can bet. We made it to the reactor, only for him to leave me when I was hanging on for my life. My life flashed before my eyes. The only people I could see were myself and I am your everything. That gave me the motivation to live. So I woke up and realized a flower bed saved my life. The bed belonged to Aerith, who I had to protect from a flamboyant redhead and then a bald guy with shades. I didn't like working for free, so I tried to abandon her in the middle of the night. I'm not sick of you yet. I don't argue, so I took her with me. I met up with Tifa, who became an undercover sex slave. We had a plan to save her. Aerith got her own disguise, and I got my disguise after going to the Honey Bee Inn. Perfection. We made it to the mansion where we had to audition to become the prize of Don Corneo. You got a mouth on you! I showed him I was much more than a pretty mouth. We interrogated him to find out that Shenra planned to wipe out Sector 7 from existence. He shoved us into his trap hole after that. <laughs> We made it to Sector 7 to save whoever we could, but Shinra was determined to bury everyone in it. Barrett, Tifa, and I escaped on a zip line that I was completely shocked that didn't break on our way down. There was only one thing left to do. We went to Shinra HQ to save Aerith. And you, my dear. And then we adopted a talking dog from the lab. Red 13. We also met Sephiroth down there. Embrace me. I tried to embrace him, but he pushed me away. Such a tease. We made it to the president's office where he was hanging off of a ledge. Please. Now we had the upper hand on him, but Barrett decided to make a heroic speech instead of finishing the job. So Sephiroth penetrated the president from behind and Barrett from the front. He made really strong eye contact with me while he was doing it too. It was time to escape Shinra HQ. There was some trouble escaping as Shinra's princess decided to fight me personally. I beat him, but the princess got away and I was hanging off of another ledge. We did escape Shinra anyway to see a portal at the end of the bridge, opened by my beloved. We could have gone down the bridge. But I refused to pay the toll, so we went through the portal. I guess we created a new timeline. But Sephiroth was not done with me. He separated me from my friends as he wanted me all to himself. I was more than willing, but Tifa wanted to join in on some of that long sword action. He pinned us to the ground, pointing his long, slender katana right in my face. This was my final fantasy until Aerith came out of nowhere and ruined it. I decided it was finally time for me to get closer to Sephiroth, and then we banged swords, causing us to transport to the edge of creation. He was trying to tell me about fates and all that other stuff, but I really just wanted to slam my sword into his. I got what I wished for, but I didn't expect it to be so strong compared to mine. 
So he just left me on that planet to die. I'm not going to explain how I got off that rock, but I gotta tell you, Sephiroth broke my heart that day. Sephiroth. I was sure from that day forth that I was going to have his head one way or another. I'm waiting, Cloud.